Hello friends, welcome to this course on NX. In this lecture, we will continue with sketch modeling and we will know how to create fillet and chamfer in the sketching. So the main purpose of fillet and chamfer is to remove the corner points. So now I go to the sketch mode from here and then select a plane. So let's say I select XY plane and then click OK. Now onto this plane, I can see the option of chamfer and then we can see fillet. So now we are going to insert them. So before this we need a reference sketch. To create any reference sketch, let's say I go to rectangle and I select center rectangle. I select this origin as a center, select sketch origin and then draw a rectangle of any dimension. Press escape. So right now we can see it is not showing any dimension because I go to more and I select this display sketch auto dimensions. Now the dimensions are showing. After that I go to this option of chamfer. So click on this chamfer. Now inside this chamfer we have three types of chamfer. Symmetric, asymmetric and offset and angle. So I will start with this symmetric chamfer. This option of trim input curve right now it is checked. And then we need to specify a distance for the chamfer. So let's say I select the lines. I select this first line and then select the second line. And then when I drag the mouse, so we have to drag the mouse towards the sketch. So when I drag the mouse, we can see the value of chamfer. So let's say I specify the value of chamfer that is 50. Press enter. Click close. Now let's see what happens when we apply the chamfer. I pick these two dimension. Let's say I pick this dimension. Hold down the left click and drag it. So I can drag this dimension. So here we can see this is our reference point. And with respect to that reference point, a chamfer has been created. And since we have created the chamfer of symmetric type, the distance from this point up to this point is 50 and similarly the distance is again 50 here. So in symmetric chamfer, the distance on both sides is always same. Now let's create second type of chamfer on this edge. So I go to chamfer and this time I select asymmetric. So when I insert the values here, when I lock them, if I make a check on them, I can lock them. So after locking these values, we cannot change them. So in case of asymmetric, we can specify two values. So let's say one value is 50, the second is 40. Okay. Now we need to select two lines that are touching each other. So select this first line and then select the second line. And here we can see it has created a chamfer. Now for this chamfer, we can see one distance, this distance is 50 and this distance is 40. So if you want to make some changes, we can make a double click on them. Click close. So I can make the double click on this dimension and we can change them. So right now I'm not changing the dimensions. Now go to chamfer once again here and then I will make a uncheck on this trim input curves. Now I select this first line and then select the second line and then drag the mouse and then let's say I click here so I can specify two values for this. So let's say this value is again 50, second value is something different. So let's say this is 35 and then press enter. So when the option of trim input lines is not selected these lines will not be deleted. Here we can see the reference line has been deleted but in this type these are not deleted. So that is the difference of using that option. Now go to chamfer once again. This time I will make a check on this trim input curves and I will select third type of chamfer that is offset and angle. Select this. Now in this type of chamfer we can specify a distance value 
with respect to an angle value. So let's say I specify the distance 35 and the angle I want 45. Make a check on this to log these dimensions. When I make a check on them, the dimensions will be logged. Zoom in here, select this line and select the second line. And now we can see we have created the chamfer. The angle value is measured with respect to this vertical line. Here we can see this is the angle value. This dimension P13 is specifying the angle. And this vertical value is specifying the distance value. So I can zoom out from here. And in this way we can create the chamfer. I click close. So I go to file and I, and I can save this as chamfer underscore one. So you can use this file for your reference. After that we will learn about fillet. Now first what I do I would delete all these sketches. So go to finish sketch. Go to the sketch from here right click and delete it. And then go to sketch once again. Select the XY plane and click OK. Here we can see option of fillet. To create the fillet once again we need to create a rectangle. So go to the center rectangle and draw a rectangle like this. Give it some dimensions and close. After that go to fillet. Now inside this fillet we have two options trim, untrim. So zoom in here. So let's say I select this first line and then select the second line. When I drag the mouse we can see preview of a radius. So let's say I define some value of radius this is 50 press enter. So this time we can see the corner point has been replaced by an arc and we can control this value of the radius. So when I select the option of untrim and go to this first line and select the second line and then place this arc inside and this time we can see the reference lines are not trimmed. So that is the difference between two options. So now I do Ctrl plus Z so I undo this and I select first type of trim that is trim and here in the trim we have two options. The first is delete third curve and the second is create alternate fillet. So let's say I select create alternate fillet with this alternate fillet so right now so right now when we create any fillet we need to select the curves that are touching with each other but when we select this option of 1 2 3 we can select the alternate curves so now i select this first curve so i am not selecting the second curve i will select the third curve select this line and now we can see a fillet has been created but now we have to place this fillet. So let's say I want to place this fillet onto this end point. So click on this end point here. And now we can see an alternate fillet has been inserted. Now the next type of fillet is delete third curve. So select this option. Now to create this type of fillet I go to the line command and let's say I draw a series of lines. I select the first line and then draw a second line like this and then draw a third line. So I am taking all the dimension values as default. I am not changing them and then go to fillet and select the delete third curve. So I select the first curve and select the second curve. So here we need to select the second curve that is not touching the first curve. Okay. So I select the second curve. And now for the third curve we need to select the curve that is touching these two existing lines. So I select this line and now we can see third curve is deleted and a fillet has been created. So that is how we create the fillet. So I go to finish sketch.